Alzheimer's disease continues to be a leading cause of death in the U.S. with one in three seniors dying with Alzheimer's or dementia. While the cure has remained elusive, the connection between brain health and the gut has grown clearer. Research suggests the bacteria in your intestines may influence brain function and can even promote neurodegeneration. Dr. Greg Silverman joins us live to continue this discussion for our Doctors End segment. Dr. Silverman, it's so good to see you. When you saw this study, what did it mean to you? What did you take away from this? Um, it means that there may be some discussion associated with Alzheimer's disease and those kinds of neurodegenerative disorders that may be associated with uh, your gut health. It's a, it's a kind of a step forward and, and it's not exactly intuitive, but if you take it and look at the types of bacteria that are in your gut, you may have some pro-inflammatory bacteria and there are some studies out there that suggest that changing the flora or the bacteria in your intestine may change some of the autoimmune diseases and that and and that that stu those studies are ongoing so does this mean more fiber in our diet more yogurt things like that well that's that's a very good question and the answer is possibly the, the types of bacteria that you want are the types of bacteria that don't create inflammation that actually remove some of the inflammatory cells from your body and some of those and and what this study showed was that in those people who had alzheimer's disease or early dementia um, their gut flora was different than those people who didn't when you matched them with a similar cohort now these are small studies but they're interesting studies and so that so that maybe a certain type of yogurt that is once they get it figured out to say look these type of bacteria are more inflammatory than these type of bacteria these types of bacteria are what you ought to have rather than those, uh, the cocktail may be there. There are also some studies out there that suggest that people who take a, a, a type, the, the types of bacteria in milk saw their cognition or how well they thought their mentation get better once they started changing their intestinal bacteria it's an interesting study there's some interesting studies out there stay uh, tuned i was going to say this is one of those you mentioned at the onset yeah. of this interview that you wouldn't necessarily think of that link between the gut and the brain uh, but moving moving forward what do we do test more of the foods that we eat uh, or look at other body parts to see if maybe the well, way we're influencing them affects our our, our brain right I, well that's that's the next step is to say can you take this to a larger population could you could you do this study on a bigger scale and the other question is 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 you know, is it, do we also already know some of the stuff, and you touched on it exactly, about types of yogurts. The answer is yes, potentially types of yogurts. Yes, there are bacteria that sort of, that, that metabolize the fiber in your diet, so higher fiber diets may be part of it. Um, you know, uh, it not, it, certainly we know that processed foods create some of that uh, in, inflammation as well, so non-processed foods, there's also some suggestion that, that intermittent fasting or letting your gut rest for the 18 hours or the 16 hours that you don't eat to remove all of those inflammatory particles may be of some benefit. So um, we don't, it, it's not exactly perfect yet, but there are some, uh, I guess, starters in to this, in this say, this is how you ought to be able to eat. This is what your diet ought to be. This is what your lifestyle ought to be. That is low processed foods, higher fiber at this point, certain types of bacteria in, in yogurt, uh, and certainly intermittent fasting seems to be uh, uh, beneficial. Who knows, there might be something to me eating expired yogurt, even though my wife says that's not a good habit. We'll see, I'm not recommending right. that. Dr. Silverman, thank you so very much for taking time to visit with us this morning. We always appreciate your input. If you have a question for Dr. Silverman, send us a text at 361-855-6397. No topic is off limits.